Hey guys, I'm Marta Geek. In this video, I'm going to be designing my own Xbox One controller thanks to Microsoft new announcement today, which is Xbox Design Lab. This is a website where you could go and customize your controller to whatever color you want. And it's only $79.99, which I honestly is not a bad price considering that a new normal controller would be like $59.99. So $20 more, you get it to whatever design you want. I think that is totally worth it. Um, first, let's go ahead and start right here with this. Uh, first, if you want to see in 3D or 360, you got to flip this switch right here. Um, you can also do this on your smartphone or tablet. I started doing this on my smartphone and it works perfectly good. But here for this video, I'm um, doing it on the computer. So right now, you got all these colors, which is pretty badass. I love the way all the colors changes really smooth, really nice. There's a lot of awesome colors here. I usually go with white, but um, you know what? I think the color that I'm going to choose is ash gray. Ash gray looks pretty damn cool. I like the way it looks. Uh, so I'm going to choose that. Uh, bumpers and triggers. Again, you could choose any color you want here. Um, honestly, the color that I really, really like for my triggers is this color right there. Uh, the white one actually looks pretty cool because it blends very nice with the ash gray. It looks pretty nice. I, I like the white one too. Uh, this blue one, I like it too a lot. But I'm going to choose this one, which is oxide red. Look at that. That looks pretty damn awesome. Uh, my D-pads, I'm also going to choose the red. That way it can match with the triggers and bumpers that's cool but of course you could choose any color uh this right here i, I don't know i i'm i'm between this right here this blue looks damn freaking beautiful or the midnight blue you know midnight blue looks pretty nice too uh, i think i'm gonna choose this one it looks pretty cool so i'm gonna choose that one the hell um the a b x y buttons um here it's cool that you can actually choose different design you got this one right here which is totally white uh you got this right here which is black on gray this one right here gray on black this one i like white on black and you got the colorful ones which is the normal buttons i think i'm gonna go with this one this one looks pretty damn cool. Look at that. That looks pretty nice. So here with the view and menu button, we got gray on white, which looks pretty cool. Black on gray, gray on black, and white on black, which is basically matching these buttons right here. But you know what? I'm going to go a little bit more crazy here, and I'm going to choose the gray on white. That way, these buttons matches with the light over here. The Xbox One um, button or something. I think that's still a button, right? So, yeah, look at that. That looks pretty sweet. I'm going to choose that. The hell. And over here in the back, of course, you could choose any color. You could go totally red, which looks pretty cool. Like you see there. But honestly, I'm going to choose. I'm going to go with this blue again. Yep, I think this is going to be my final design. I like the way it looks. I like the way it, all the colors blends with each other. looks really, really cool. Uh, there's got to be a section here where you can actually engrave your controller as well. But let's go ahead and save and finish. Okay, so now we are done here, ready to order. And like you see here, it says, due to the customized nature of the controller, please note that non-defective product returns are not accepted. In other words, if you don't like the colors that you chose, you cannot return it because of that. That's it. Um, here you can actually name the design of your controller. Here I'm just going to put Mark the Geek. But there, like you see there, it says Mark the Geek created by Mark the Geek. Um, it also has a heart right there. So I guess others can actually like your design, which is kind of cool. Um, here you could go ahead back to edit. And this is where you're going to add your laser engraving right there you tap right there and here you can actually type whatever you want you can write your name you can write your microsoft or your xbox um, name uh, but this let's go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see how it looks uh mark the geek let's see there i put the h with a capital there uh, but it's it looks okay not bad honestly they should have added more uh fonts but i'm just gonna remove it i'm just gonna keep on doing the design without the engraving uh, but here you can also share 
uh, this to the gallery. So I guess others can see your design. I guess that's the reason you would choose to save it to the gallery. I, I don't know why here it deleted my name again. So we can choose there, here again, mark the gig, and here say share to gallery. Now I can click unshare there if I want. And here, like you see there, there's you can see a very nice gallery section here where you can see the design of your controller. Very, very cool the way they're showing your controller from different angles. That's very cool. You can also see here the colors that you use in the section that you have used it. And you can see the names of the colors that you chose as well. That's pretty cool that they put that there. You can share this design to Facebook, Twitter, uh, Pinterest. Um, here, of course, says your, your saved designs. So at, at any time, you could just pop in here back again and keep on working on your design if you're if you need to think about it um here let's go and share it on facebook yeah remember uh my account is linked to twitter so you're most likely going to see this on twitter if you're following me on twitter uh, if anything i'll go ahead and, and put a photo of this on my instagram because that's what i use the most and that's it so here we are done all we got to do is submit the order um, add it to the card and we are ready to go so let's go ahead and choose the order here um, after you choose the order it's going to tell you hey do you want to add the engraving yes or no ten dollars for the engraving i'm just going to choose no thanks i'm just going to pay the 79.99 and that's good for me uh, the engraving, I really don't like the fact that you you don't have the option to choose different fonts or location of the great engraving. That would have been nice. But let's go ahead and get out of here and finish this. And we'll be finishing with the order, which uh, most likely I'm going to start editing the video here because I don't want my personal information to leak out. Okay, guys, and that's it. I just finished doing my order, and uh, it took me right here back to the home page right here of the Microsoft. It sees everything announced at E3, and right here, like you see there, it's right there again, the link to go to this website where you can uh, actually customize your controller. I'm going to leave a link in my description. That way you guys can try it out, play with it, have a little fun there creating your own design. Um, and... Um, you won't be charged until the order is ready. So keep that in mind. When you uh, make your order right now, uh, even though you put up your credit card or whatever, you're not going to be charged until you your order is ready to ship. That, and if I'm not mistaken, this is going to be shipping in September, which kind of sucks. I have to wait that long. But hey. I'll, it's it's going to be a worth waiting for. And I'll do another video when I receive the, the, the Xbox One controller customized and everything. This same one that we just ordered, I will make a video unboxing and show you guys the final product, how it looks. So, guys, thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you're actually going to do some of these awesome customization. Are you going to get one of these? Uh, are you going to design your own? Uh, if you're on PlayStation 4, do you really want um, um, Sony to do something like this? I think Sony should do something like this because it's a, it's a very, very cool idea. So I guess that's all, guys. Thanks for watching my video. Till next time.